Honor Club, where honor is real. Everything is evil. On Sunday, July 12th, evil shocked the wrestling world. Within a day of betraying Naito and Los Ingobernables de Japón by joining Bullet Club, Evil defeated Naito for both the IWGP Heavyweight and Intercontinental Championships. To celebrate Evil's victory, ROH has picked out Evil's best bouts in ROH. For more Evil, check out Honor Club, where you can see Evil compete in ROH rings during War of the World 2014, 15, 17, 18, and 19, as well as War of the Worlds UK, Best in the Worlds 14 and 18, and Field of Honor 2015. By mid-2017, Evil and LIJ were ruling the wrestling world. Evil, along with Sonata and Bushi, had just captured their third never open weight six man titles. Hiromu Takahashi had captured his first IWGP Heavyweight Championship, and Naito had already ascended to the top of the mountain, capturing the IWGP Heavyweight Championship. But while LIJ was rising, Bullet Club was climbing perhaps just as fast. We take you back to this 10 man clash from War of the Worlds UK 2017 from York Hall in London, where LIJ battled Bullet Club. He himself, a former never open weight champion. And it seems like these days, everything is coming up aces for Los Ingobernables de Japón. Not only did they have perhaps the two breakout stars of this year's G1, but they had the winner too. They got the winner, my man. What an ovation for evil here tonight. We listen to this crowd in London. But I think the biggest ovation might be the man coming down to the ring right now with his good friend and, and partner and confidant who has been resurrected. Hiromu Takahashi. And his colleague, Daryl Takahashi. Of course, Bushi here as well. Both of these gentlemen, former IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champions. And here we see the man that will challenge for the Ring of Honor World Championship. As we're being joined at the broadcast table. Daryl, what's a headset? By our feline friend. The crowd is about to go absolutely bananas for the winner of the 2017 G1 Climax. Don't be surprised. This crowd in London just blew the roof off the building. Talk about groups functioning at a high level where every group member brings up the level of the next. You have to think about Los Ingobernables de Japón. Former IWGP heavyweight champion, Naito, looking to recapture that championship as the winner of the 2017 G1. One of the greatest matches I've ever seen, defeating the cleaner, Kenny Omega. And with that win, Ian, that man right there secured his spot in the main event of the Tokyo Dome at Wrestle Kingdom. Could you even imagine Sonata challenging for the ROH World Championship? We've seen Evil as the never openweight champion. We know Bushi. Got him again. Yeah. This is a unit they've held the ROH 
I'm sorry, the never open weight six man championship. But here tonight, I anticipate a little bit of a war, BJ, in our main event. Yeah. And just when I think this crowd couldn't get any louder, here come the Bullet Club. Potential goal, but there is the realization and visualization of what it means to be champions. At the top of their game. There's no hypotheticals about it. The men with the gold, the ROH World Tag Team Champions, the Young Bucks. The American Nightmare, Cody, the ROH World Champion. And two young men who are threats at any time to capture gold in their own right. The former ROH World Television Champion, Marty Skrull, and Hangman Page. Be. This crowd is so loud, I can't even hear myself think right now. You know, a divided crowd. That's one way to keep the forces of evil off of you. of Los and Gobernables de Japón. Now, the American Nightmare wants, he wants Daryl Takahashi out of here. That, that cat's got plenty to say tonight. We're going to try and get a word with Daryl throughout the evening. Naito has given his blessing. He's got a lot to say tonight. He's Cody, we haven't heard from him since his horrific injury at the hands of Bad Luck Fale. An injury that Bullet Club caused. Yeah, he's just now got put back together. I think they're chanting for former American President FDR, CJ. Why would they be chanting for him? Because they can't say the other three letters. Uh-oh, that one's gonna cost them $100. 100, maybe like 100,000 for cease and desist. Now, I'd like to draw attention to the, uh, to the gear of the Young Bucks, the American Nightmare, and the villain Marty Skrull. Of course, in World War II, World War I, I mean, practically since the War of 1812, America's greatest ally has been the UK. That cat's got a lot to say. He's got a lot to say today. Yep. That, uh, that relationship between these two countries 
evident in the gear of, of almost everyone within Bill Club. Now they want Daryl out of here. And is there another? Is there no rule against that cat sitting here with us? No, this is a pet, a pet friendly venue as far as yeah, I'm concerned. Yeah. thoughts later but coming into this match DJ we know there's been some dissension among Bullet Club you know, they, they have their fun and games but if, if anybody who watched the G1 knows that Tama Tonga has some issues with Kenny Omega Kenny Omega of course part of the the elite of course there's been some things set back and forth we know Gorillas of Destiny will be in action in Atlanta yeah. so Tying all this together, there seems to be some sort of fissure, some sort of fraction, sort of faction, if you will, developing between members of the Bullet Club. On the other hand, if you point to Los Ingobernables de Japón, their motto of Tranquilo has kept them as a unit, as a very strong one at that. Of course, Marty Skrull, former Arlovich World Television Champion, uh-oh. He's got his umbrella. Yep. It's not raining the doors. He doesn't need that, BJ. Takahashi gonna lick it? It looks like it. Ooh. <laughs> Seen a lot oh, of this girl took great offense. Seen a lot of strange things here tonight. That might have been the strangest. Leapfrog there. And make no mistake about it. All ten of these guys have unique styles. Bullet well, Club likes to have some fun. Los Ingobernables de Japón likes to keep it tranquilo. But these are ten of the very best wrestlers in the world right now. Oh, look at that. Running Hurricane Rana. Oh! Takahashi doing his own version of the bird walk. And the ticking time bomb. Takahashi went through a bit of a transformation. Of course, we've seen him in Ring of Honor before. This is his first return since he became, assumed the identity of Takahashi after winning that IWGP Junior Championship from Kushida. Uh-oh. And the American Nightmare, he wants in because in one day's time, less than 24 hours away, these two will compete for the Ring of Honor World Championship. And you might think the smart money is on Cody, a man who almost defeated Okada for the IWGP Championship with a separated shoulder. But you're talking about Sonata here, one of the breakout stars of the G1. You're talking about a guy who is an elite level athlete. You want a stat? You want to stand? I did my research. I'm talking about a guy that has a 45-inch vertical leap. That vertical leap is greater than some NBA Hall of Famers. Dr. J, 43. LeBron James, 44. Clyde Drexler, 44. Dominique Wilkins, 43. Those are some of the greatest jumpers, some of the greatest athletes the NBA has ever seen. And you have an athlete that caliber who, like you said, defeated former ROH World Champion Michael Elgin in the G1 who is looking for a career-defining victory. Cody went through a bit of an existential crisis recently on the latest episode of Being the Elite. Did he not? I haven't called that. Uh, yeah, he uh, checked that out. That's straight from the, uh, the horse's mouth, the young bucks. Marty, Adam Page, Cody, you can see them just about weekly to cover. He thinks the world is taking it all from him in, uh, whoa! And we mentioned the vertical leap of Sonata. Standing across the ring from him is a man with great genetics, great pedigree, a great athlete in his own right, former state champion wrestler in the state of Georgia. Of course, current Ring of Honor world champion. Yeah, trying to strategize a little bit with his partners at Bullet Club right now. And 
And if this is any indication of what we will see in Liverpool, it's going to be a pick -em. These two so evenly matched. Yeah, there's fans in Liverpool are going to want a hell of a match. Look at that drop down. Connects. Cody loading the chamber. Showing off that vertical. Yeah, there it is. Sonata, big drop kick. Oh, Cody's in the wrong part of town. He just hits Tana. Takahashi. Oh, and oh. this getting ready to break loose right now. And look at Bushi. Bushi's the first one to de-escalate that Tranquilo. How was Todd Sinclair able to de-escalate that situation? Best referee in wrestling. Cody is chanting, we want some super kicks. Cody's attention momentarily was here at Daryl. Daryl, a lot has been going through your mind right now. We saw what happened with Bad Luck Fale during the G1. You know, how have you been able to recover so quickly and back to full form? We hold that thought. The man from Aaron's Creek, Virginia, Adam Page, is in. Symbolically. Oh, and he's calling for the big dog. Wow. He wants the winner of the G1. The big man, Los Ingobernables. And you got to wonder. Not is going to give it to him. Watch what you ask for, because when you get it, it might not be what you want. But this says this says a lot about Adam Page, a man who, keep in mind, still in his early 20s, he's calling out one of the biggest stars in the world. And you know Adam Page. Yeah, I know anybody. Adam Page very well, and sometimes this guy's got more guts than he's got brains. Let me tell you, which isn't a bad thing when you need a guy to have your back in a fight. It isn't, and that's a great point because you think back to the G1 final, how much of this for Bullet Club is even revenge-oriented? I mean, it was a great match, but of course, as we've seen, being the elite, Kenny Omega, very closely associated with this, these particular five, some of Bullet Club. You gotta think, if you can make the cleaner happy, <laughs> and he won't get a chance to. Matt Jackson yelling, I hate you, at Tsutsuya Naito. We talked about the transformation of Hiromu Tagahashi. What about the transformation of evil? This is a man who spent his excursion here in the United States and in the ring of honor. Oh, and the king of darkness. How much disrespect can you show? Oh. Yep. Oh! Evil clotheslines, Page to the outside, and Naito's back in. Oh, we know what's coming now. We sure do. Here we go, Naito off the ropes. The former NWGP heavyweight champion. Oh, very smart. Oh. Oh. Gotta give credit where credit's due. If a man the caliber of Naito is going to expose himself like that in a 10-man tag team situation, you got to take advantage of it. And the man with the Bullet Club Allied Power tights, the villain Marty Skrull, very smart. Ooh! Oh. Senton from Evil, and Bushi now. Probably the freshest man of the match. Oh! Look at Naito! And just making a mockery of Skrull. And for the first time to my recollection, we we're seeing in a Ring of Honor ring, Tetsuya Naito and Marty Skrull. What a match that would be if you should ever be in this ring. It would be a main event anywhere in the world. Would sell out any building just like this great 10-man tag has. 
we see LIJ Los Ingobernables de Japón taking their time, focusing on one member of a time, a Bullet Club. Irish ripping in the corner, Takahashi follows him in. Daryl, you gotta be pleased with how Hiromu's doing right now. Two. Full impact on that basement drop kick. There we see Daryl, great commentary there as Hiromu taking care of business. Bushi in as the legal man for the first time in the match. Bushiruni! And there we see a t shirt using it to choke Marty Skrull. And now the attention of referee yeah. Todd Sinclair. And Los Ingobernables and Marty Skrull isolated right now. They got him in the wrong part of town. They sure do. Skrull trying to fight out of it. Bit of a test of strength. And the villain. Oh, one blower. Hey. He's going to make the tag. Can he do it? Yes, indeed. Matt Jackson in. Nick Jackson coming in with him. The Young Bucks, three times the ROH World Tag Team Champions. Is this legal? Well, Dr. Claire is letting him fight. I think this is going to let him go. Double hip toss. Oh, yeah. And these two great Patriots, the Young Bucks. Oh. Nick Jackson going up to the top. Tag team, continuity at its finest. Into the long bar on Takahashi. He's got Naito hemmed up. Around the world goes Nick Jackson. Up and out goes Skrull. Oh! Takes one to the temple, does Naito. Marty skins the cat. Oh, B BJ. It is time for the Terminator to rise. From Oakland to Sacktown, the Bay Area, back down. The Young Bucks deliver a little California love. Straight from Rancho Cucamonga. Whoa! Did you see that? And that's the world champion. That's how much this 10-man tag means to the world champion. The night before, he defends his title against Sonata. Oh. Oh, dumps him. Big elbow. Frog splash. Square across the ring. Oh, you see that no. distance, Matt Jackson, or Nick Jackson clear on that splash. And Daryl Takahashi is very concerned right now for Los Ingobernables. Oh, yes, he is. I can see a look of consternation on his face as Hangman Adam Page brings Bushi into the corner. Knife edge chop connects. Confidence just brimming from Adam Page's face. Ooh. Taking out Naito, it was Page and Cody, the American Nightmare. Bullet Club back in control. Patented Bullet Club right now. They're going to take Bushi, they're going to take him, they're going to isolate him, they're going to wear him out and try to put him away. Attacking like a pack. It's a pack mentality. Connects with the forearm, does Bushi. Now Cody staggering. He's still in the wrong part of town. Even if he gets to the corner, BJ, there's no one there to tag. Yeah, everybody's down still. In nowhere, nowhere land right now. Oh, he's banging off. Oh, right to the eye. Double leg takedown from Cody. Oh, here we go. Looking for it. Figure four. Oh, we're going to have everybody oh, oh, oh. in figure fours. Quintuple figure four. All the Bullet Club has all of LIJ locked in figure fours right now. Oh, uh oh, oh. And they've all reversed it. Almost simultaneously, Osingo Fernandez reverses the pressure on all five figure fours. I think we just, I think right we just, on top of us here. I think we 
just had a figure 20 there. Of course, the man that perfected that, one of Cody's father's all-time rivals, Nature Boy Ric Flair. We'd like to send out our best wishes and thoughts. Get well soon as Cody sends Bushi to the mat. And the world champion takes to the top. Moonsault does not deliver. Nobody home. Cody quickly able to tag, though. Adam Page back in. He's been the problem solver for Bullet Club. Scoops up Bushi, slams him down. And he's going. We don't see him go to the top. What's he doing? PJ. What's he doing? Moonsault, no! Beautiful rotation. I give it a 10 for form, but... Nobody home once again. Yeah. Oh, Nick Jackson saying he's got he's him. He's got it, and I believe him. Here we go. Oh! 0 oh for 3. Matt Jackson, those big double axe handles. And they got to hit this. No! Nobody home for Matt Jackson either. Bushi finding a way, but now the number's just too much. It is now four on one. Can Marty even do a moonsault? I, I don't think I've ever seen him go to the top row. He's a great athlete, BJ, but I don't think we've ever seen him. And he's got the full support. And this crowd in London want to see it. A pure call. He's not so sure. He's not so sure. The church is next door, Marty. You made him want to plan ahead. Look at his legs shaking. He's not so sure about this. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Up to the top, Marty Skrull. Oh! <laughs> oh, for five, and he got the knee right to the top of the chest. Bushi desperately needs to make a tag. Marty has the wherewithal to do it. Sonata finally back up on the apron. Oh, and here we go. It's Cody, and it's Sonata. These two men will meet in Liverpool. Sonata, that vertical leap, the drop kick connect. And he is a one-man wrecking crew. Atomic drop. Sends him down. Oh, oh hold on. Oh, he's tying him up the knot. Yeah. We've seen this before. Got him like a pretzel. It's the paradise lock. A page can't get out. Look at him. He can't get out. We know what comes next. We sure do. Oh! Go! And now Evil Naito. Double team moves here. LIJ so good in six, eight, and ten man tags. Naito, two. teamwork from all 10 guys right now. And this is why LIJ is so tough to beat in any sort of tag team action. Charging in, up and out goes Page. Off the ropes comes Naito. Buckshot Lariat. Oh, and he turned him inside out. Oh, but he was in. Oh, Fireman's carry. Oh! oh beautiful set out. Darkness falls. Oh, wait a minute. Beautiful disaster. Has him up. Sonata, hold on. Oh! Marty. Wait a minute, reverses. Oh, Marty falling out. Oh. But he gets to a place of desperation. Fingers! Oh, oh he snapped his fingers. He snapped his fingers. Oh, but he better turn around. It's Takahashi. Oh! oh! Release belly to belly. Super, Super kick. kick! Super kick! Super kick! Super kick! And stereo! Oh! 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 No! 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 No!
Todd, Todd, do something. Todd, Todd, do something. Todd. Oh, thank goodness for Sonata and Evil. They saved Daryl. Oh. Somebody get Daryl out of there. Somebody clear the ring of Daryl. Todd, get Daryl out of there. Todd. Oh, no. No. No, 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 no. no. Todd. 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 Todd, get Daryl out of there. He's not gonna chicken wing Daryl. Oh, he's feeling it. No, 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 no. Uh oh, uh oh. Super oh, kick! Tuck he's got his cat it. back. He's got Daryl. Saves back. the day. Super, Super kick. kick! Oh, no. Oh, no. He's got. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Please. He's been through so much. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Call Not up this. Uncle Not Dave. This. Oh! Meltzer Driver. To Daryl. To Daryl. They killed him. Takahashi's crying. Why? Why? They have murdered Daryl here in London. Go get your cat. And I hope Daryl has nine lives. <laughs> Are you happy? Are you happy Are you now? happy? Apologize. Apologize. It's your bed, you made it, now sleep in it. Say no sorry. Say no sorry. Oh, he's Come gonna on. fight them all. He's gonna fight them all. Here we go, Takahashi. He is unloading, taking out his frustration. Super oh, kicks. Quid tuple. Just took out Marty. Look at Naito. Oh, Naito's taking out everybody. Insegari ducks the double clothesline. Rams Page into the chair. And the list. Inverted atomic drop. Evil. Roll through. He's got a kid. Two. Oh, Page kicked out. But he has no idea where he is. He can't see anything. Oh, wait a minute, BJ. This is it. the cohesiveness of both Singover and Amelie's day. They're pouring, they're trying to clear out his eyes with beer. I don't think the beer's gonna work. The water probably might work a lot better. Wait, it just made it worse. He just got beer in his eyes. Beer, have you oh, ever got beer in your eyes? I can't say that I have. And there you see the five-some that is on top of the wrestling world.